What's down? What's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl T.O. Welcome to it. Welcome back to my channel. You can tell by the title, today's video is going to be freshman slash sophomore, you know, just high school and advice in general. I know how it is to be in high school. I graduated class of 2021. I'm about to give y'all some high school slash freshman advice. It also can be good advice for sophomores too, but this is mainly for the freshmen. So let's get right into this video. So I kind of broke this down into topics so that it is easier to like, you know, grasp the baby to understand. First topic we're going to talk about is relationships. Y'all ain't ready for high school relationships, but let let me get right into first it. First things first, I want y'all to know that a lot of y'all is getting out of eighth grade in a little relationship or whatever, thinking that, oh my goodness, we're going to go to the same school or we're going to go to different schools, but we're still going to stay together. Wrong. I'm sorry not to burst your bubble, not to damage your confidence, but most of the times your little eighth grade relationship not going to last. You're going to be in high school for four years. You're going to see people. He's going to see people or she's going to see people. Honestly, <sighs> Cut it out. Nine times out of 10, with you being in high school, you're gonna get in a relationship, unless you're not a relationship type of person. Kudos to you. But most of us, we get in relationships in high school and I'm sorry to let you know that high school relationships are temporary. High school relationships be toxic and they come with a lot of drama. Honestly, he could leave the drama with his mama or she. She could leave it too. You're probably wondering why I say that they're temporary, but honestly, it's like, okay, you go to high school, you meet a dude or a female and be like, first love, da 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 da. But don't you think that dude in, in eighth grade was your first love too? It's temporary. You gotta remember that we're children, we're young. And think about the fact that beginning a relationship, think that y'all gonna be together forever, right? How is y'all together forever if you just getting in high school, baby? You're 14, 15, maybe 16 years old. From the age of 14, 15, 16, all the way in two years, and you're like 70s, that's a long time to be with one person. But I mean, if that's your cup of tea, Sip it. And let's not get into it with these 12th graders, y'all. The 12th graders, honestly, it's 12th grade boys. 12th grade boys really be into the little ninth grade girls. But when y'all get these little 12th grade boys, remember that he is not just trying to get with you because he's really into you. Some of them might be, but you got to remember that these 12th grade girls don't want him for a reason he's with these ninth graders because he cannot get a 12th grader these seniors they be one of the little girls that don't even know them for real because they know that they can manipulate your mind okay you're like oh my gosh i got an older dude in the mind he's not there that's why the 12th grade girls don't want him okay y'all gotta look at that as a red flag if he's in 12th grade this dude like 18 and he wants your 14 year old self there's a reason why other 18 year old women don't want them. Red flag, baby, red flags. The next topic I'm gonna speak on is classes. Okay, so when you get to high school, you're gonna have eight classes. You're gonna have four core classes and you're gonna have four electives. For those who do not know what a core class is, it's your math, your science, your social studies and your English class, okay? Those are your four core classes. You have, absolutely have to pass all four of those classes or you will not have a credit for that class or you might even have a half a credit for that class. And if you do not have enough credits by your 12th grade year, baby, you're not graduating. Sorry, not gonna graduate. So make sure that you, I'm not gonna say don't take your elective serious. You gotta take the elective serious or whatever, but you absolutely need to focus on those four core classes in order to graduate because the last thing you want to do is be behind. Your grades when you're in ninth grade is very, very, very important because if you fail those classes in ninth grade, it's gonna be very hard for you to catch up in order to graduate on time later on in the year. Next, I'm gonna speak on ACT. Uh, ACT is a test that you take and whatever your ACT score is, it helps with college. So ACT is really, really, really important for those who want to go to college i'm not gonna lie to you a lot of colleges you need certain act scores to get into college so be mindful of that you can take the act more than one time though you can take it as many times as you want and they're just going to use whatever your highest score was so that's good or whatever act stressful though. While i'm on the topic of talking about classes let me mention that skipping class is very much tempting it is very tempting sometimes you just don't want to go to class and you might want to skip class trust me i would know I was the class skipper. It's not worth it. Let me let you know that now. It's not worth it. Because once you start failing them classes, you're going to be talking about some Miss such and such, Mr. Such and such. Can I have extra credit work 
so that I don't fail your class once the uh, last couple of days come. So try not to skip class. I ain't gonna lie, it's tempting. I ain't gonna, nobody's perfect. You're probably gonna skip at least one class, but try not to. That's all I'm saying. Next topic I'm gonna um, touch on is popularity. I'm gonna let you know right now, a lot of people want to be popular, but make sure that you're yourself. If people really like you, they're gonna like you for who you are. Do not try your hardest to get into the popular group. Do not try your hardest to be popular. Honestly, I don't know, maybe it's just my high school, but we didn't even have popular people. Everybody's just cool. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was just cool. If you are in one of them schools where there's the popular girls or the popular boys or whatever, do not try to fit in with them, baby, be yourself. Cause nine times out of 10, them popular popular quotation marks on popular i ain't even gonna touch too much on that just be yourself be yourself if, it meant, if it's meant for you to be popular you're going to be if not it's not but it's really not that big of a deal if you're at one of them schools that do have quote-unquote popular people try not to date the popular dude do not date the popular boy he is for everybody. He's for the streets. He will cheat on you. Don't think you're going to date him because he's the hottest dude around. And y'all just going to be, you know, yeah with the yeah. Honestly, he's for the streets, baby. He's for the streets. And let him stay to the streets because you deserve better. In my opinion, these people don't count as popular, but they are pretty known, which is the football players. Y'all, please stay away from the football players. They are toxic. Do not trust them. Do not trust them. Don't date them. Don't do the nasty with them don't do nothing with them because they're going to tell the whole locker room sorry but it's true let me talk about cheerleading cheerleading that was my thing in middle school once i got to high school i didn't really want to be a cheerleader but i want y'all to know that as bad as it sounds i'm not trying to hit on nothing but the cheerleaders already have a label that they're messy and that they're doing the nasty with all of the football players sorry but it's true um it's not always true that the cheerleaders are doing to do with the football players but you might get labeled as that maybe not in your face but maybe behind your back you know high school is full of fake people a lot of people gonna talk behind your back but if you're a cheerleader i'm just letting you know it may not be true about you but people gonna assume that you yeah with the yeah with the football team not just the players but the whole team before i end the part about popularity just please don't stress about it Please do not stress about it. In my eyes, ain't nobody popular. You're either cool or you're not. That's it. Now, this is a very, 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 very important topic, but I really want to talk about peer pressure. You guys, peer pressure in high school is something serious. I'm not going to lie to you. Not. One thing that they like to try and pressure you into doing is smoking. Baby, I'm letting you know right now. A lot of y'all probably smoke because a, a lot of people smoke. I ain't going to lie. But if you do not smoke, you do not have to. Do not let nobody talk you into hitting the blunt okay you do not have to hit the blunt i'm 19 and i still haven't smoked yet okay so it you you're not missing out on nothing if you ain't never had it before you know what i'm saying so if you're not already smoking don't let oh boy and his partners talk you into hitting a blunt you don't have to and it could be dangerous i've seen a couple people get laced in high school it's not cute please don't be that person getting laced is not something that you could really just get over it your mind is messed up you basically a crackhead now nah. Another thing that people pressure you into having is sex the nasty. I'm just going to call it the nasty just in case YouTube's watching. Now on this topic, please be mindful that these little boys are little boys and they will probably try to pressure you into doing the nasty with them. It's okay to say no. I promise you it's okay to say no. You do not have to. Okay, if you're not ready, you do not have to. And you know, please, girl, keep your legs closed. Keep your legs closed as, as much as you can. Because if not, you're gonna have one of these. That's my baby. Not too much on her, but you don't want one of them. <laughs> also, do not trust these dudes. Please do not trust these dudes. They be lying. Say favorite line. This gonna stay between us. It's not gonna stay between you and him. He gonna tell his partners and his partners gonna tell their partners and their partners gonna tell their mama, their sister, their uncle and their cousin. And everybody's gonna know. And I promise you once rumors spread, First of all, they spread real quickly. After they're spread it, they're not going nowhere, okay? People might stop talking about it, but every time they see you, they still gonna remember it. Not to scare you, but keep your legs closed, okay? But more importantly than keeping your legs closed, because it is a possibility yeah. that you probably will break your virginity in high school, don't send nudes. Do not send nudes. 
Do not trust the dude with news. They're childish, okay? Remember y'all is in high school. Y'all are in high school. They will send it to people. They will show somebody. They might not be the person that show the whole school, but whoever they show it to will show the whole school. I've personally never been exposed before. Everybody that I know that have sent news have gotten exposed at school. Honestly, it's embarrassing. You walk in there, feel like everybody's staring at you. That's because they are. Now they know what your breasts look like, your butt look like, and what your coochie look like. Thanks a lot. Honestly, just don't trust dudes at all, okay? You think they real, but they not. Okay, this video is gonna be pretty short and I'm honestly not mad at it. I did not want a long video, but last topic is friendships. Since I'm assuming most of y'all are freshmen and y'all just got out of eighth grade, I want y'all to know that your eighth grade friends is not gonna be your friends forever. Y'all might stay in tech for a couple months, but after a while, y'all gonna just grow apart and ain't nothing wrong with growing apart from your friends. I mean, it happens. It don't always mean that there's beef. It's not always something ghetto. It's not always something messy. Y'all might just grow apart. You know, as you get older, you're changing and you're not gonna always like the person that your friend changed into, you know what I'm saying? Also, do not be afraid to find other friends. You're gonna find friends. Everybody be having their own group, no matter what type of person you are. If you're, you know, loud, you're gonna find your little... Speaking of loud. But you're gonna find you a friend group. Do not be scared. Do not be worried. You're gonna find friends. If it's not on the first day, maybe the next day or maybe even the next week. I ain't gonna lie, the first day do seem a little bit lonely when you're brand new because you might not know anybody, but it's okay. You're gonna find friends. A lot of times, just like eighth grade friendships, once you graduate, a lot of the friends that you was friends with in high school, y'all also grow apart too. So just know that it's normal and there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of times, you will have fake friends. Definitely, if your friend circle is big, please try to keep your circle small. But in every large group, at least one person is a snake. Try to keep your friend group small. No more than five people. Fake friends is very, 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 very common. Please notice a jealous friend when you see one. That love friend that like to talk about you and point out insecurities whenever guys is around or act different around other females. Little miss quote unquote jokey joke all of a sudden funny and a comedian. Remember that that little jokey joke is not just a little jokey joke. It's honestly jealousy. A lot of times it's jealousy. If they don't joke like that when it's just y'all two, why are they joking like that when other people around, when other females around, whenever they around certain dudes, you know what I'm saying? You could honestly just cut them off and move on because they are not worth it. Please ignore my child in the background. But those type of friends that like to do all that extra stuff when other people around, you know, Lil Miss Ha Ha, Lil Miss Comedian, Lil Miss Wanna Cookie, Lil Miss pick me you do not need friends remember that you can always rock solo as long as you got yourself you don't really need friends do not be afraid to cut somebody off but not to make it all negative i do not want it to be all negative please remember that there are friends that you will indeed grow with you're not gonna always have to there's there might be some friends that you continue to be friends with for years all this length but that you might continue to be friends with for years afterwards. Sometimes you go in high school, you could meet either your fakest friends or your realest friends. <laughs> hey. But okay, you guys, this is the end of the video. If y'all want a part two, just let me know and I'm fine with making a part two for you guys. Share it with your friends, your uncle and your cousin. Whoever you know going to high school, show them this video because they just might need it. If y'all want a part two, just let me know in the comments and I will give you guys a part two. No problem with that. But you guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to see you guys in my next video. Bye.